What's going on, y'all? It's me, the musical hippie, back after a little mini hiatus. Lost my going off. I got the baby on the way. Uh, it's got a promotion. Life been busy. Life been good. Life's good. <laughs> but I'm back in a big way as today I got Le Fragile from my homeboy Ramberry who sent me a care package. Uh, we had spoken. He's got a couple little little dope pieces he does similar to like the Cannabis Dawn but he does a lot of other stuff. You know, a little boom, boom, bang. A couple of those pieces right there so you can see what he's all about. And he hooked me up. He said that he was going to take care of me. I was like, all right. I waited. I waited. No more of a wait. I wasn't expecting something that's as fragile, though. That has had me antsy in anticipation for a couple days now as to what it could be. Um, I'm thinking it might be this little guy right here, which is the last post I actually or not. He's the second to last post I made. He also dropped this really sick Rick Rubin piece right there which was really cool um so i don't know it's fragile though but i already cut the box so we're gonna get that live little tape action um we got a card i think we read the card first cards always you know that's always the good giveaway And you see, this right here, I ain't gonna show y'all the letter. I mean, you all can see my face. The light's a little, it, it's, I got that natural lighting in the background. Um, but very kind words from the homie Renberry. Um, again, one of those really dope independent dudes that makes a lot of dope stuff. And similar to like my boy Canvas Dawn, or a couple of the other guys that I post and share about on, on my website. A lot of these guys are kind of just getting getting their start. And he makes, I mean, a lot of dope stuff. You know, I've seen his stuff on and off. But it took that Mac Miller figure that I po posted about him for me to really be like, oh, like, time to, like, really lock in with it. You know what I mean? So let's, we got one little thing that I can see. There's a couple little things, though. A couple of things. So we're going to take this piece by piece because there's at least two things I can confirm. And speaking of Mac, he took care of me. <laughs> um, that's awesome. I mean, like, a, he actually, he, he bamboozled me a little bit with it because he told me that this guy was sold out. Look at him, though. Look at this little cute guy. Ain't that fucking cute? Look at him. Super dope piece. This is like I said, this is the piece right here that really had me uh, Captivated because something about just Animal Crossing and Mac Miller. It just felt like a natural There's actually another guy that I, I'm gonna be writing about here in a little while who has a Mac Miller plushie That's super dope, too. I don't know why Mac Miller on a plush looks super cool Maybe it's cuz he used to do that back in the day with most dope you know, but um, Really awesome I, I, I was kind of holding my breath and hoping, but I didn't expect it to actually be this piece. Um, as you can see, it's got the track listing at the bottom. The patch, the packaging is dope. It's all custom, and it looks like you can untie the back. So if you wanted the pose Mac, um, but me being me, I'm probably gonna end up keeping them kind of posted like this. Um, I might try to find like a hard case, protective case. But I mean, that's awesome, and then. A lot of the things I posted about on the website, like I love the little details here. I don't know how you can get little hand details like the Pittsburgh Pirates, um, you know, the Roman numerals, if the camera could focus. Uh, it's, I mean, it's the little details that to me were like really dope. Um, so that's amazing right there. Truly amazing. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I, I can't. There's another piece. So, the Mac also came with a um, a custom Pokemon card. Boom, you know, kind of put it right there. Try to get better at the editing, you know, keep these videos lively. But, um, 
This ain't just one Pokemon card. This is a hard stack. Uh, I got. I, I mean, I'm just gonna stop right here and just truly say again, remember, I'm really grateful, very, very grateful for the love. You know, very, very grateful for the love, my man. Um, we just going. We got four cards. Let's just do this like you ain't doing the videos on on fucking TikTok. Bang! Oh, Travis Scott card. That's fucking dope. That's from Utopia right there. Try to get that uh that angle. Here. Had to had to turn the lights off because I just don't think you gonna see it. But it's holographic. Like that's fucking that's sick. Um. Hit him with the next one. Hit him with the next one. Bam. Ooh, the Uzi one. Okay. That's sick. That's uh that was his Uzi one that he made when Uzi got that that fucking vision stone in his forehead, you know. Um Burn! There's that Drake one. I need this. Uh and all these cards have like cool little custom like track loads, so like Uzi had endless this one had Marvin's Room, which I mean, we all know Marvin's Room. Probably, probably the most talked about song off of Take Care. And again, all of these are very nicely made. I mean, they all have their own great detail. They're all, it's been a few years since I've really looked at Pokemon cards, but they're all very well made. You know, very well made. Drop two. Bang! There he is. Malcolm. Yeah, you can see it. I mean, very beautiful card. The card went with the actual figure itself. Uh, so very beautiful piece right there. Um, and again, another cool thing, you know, and it's the little details, just the details that you don't think always about. You know, some dudes that make these custom things might have not put their actual handle in the actual Pokemon font. It's, uh, it's that little details, those minute things that I really do appreciate. That a lot of guys, you know, hit on notes. It's always easy to make cheap knockoffs, but like making like a legit product that's like full on quality, that that's a whole different story. Now we got we got one more piece to my knowledge in there. One more. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, the box the box is empty. But there's a box in a box. Ooh. Y'all hear that? I see the top of it. Ooh! Okay. Okay, son. Damn, son. He not fucking playing with it. I actually don't remember seeing the, the Hillbillies box. Um, and, you know, he can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, fucking huge fan of Tyler the Creator, my boy. Um, so anything with him is always a must for me. But... This is real dope. It looks like it's a play on, like, Rice Krispies, kind of, with them elf fucking ears. <laughs> you know, these motherfuckers got them fucking elf ears here. Um, damn. And it's, it sounds like there's some in there. I just gotta, just out of curiosity, I gotta be a little gentle. Um, we'll go, oh, okay. Okay, I was about to say, it, it's peanuts. They're peanuts. They're pack of peanuts. <laughs> I wasn't thinking there would have been real cereal, but goddamn, I would have been fucking flabbergasted at that point. Because I know I know there's some cats that actually make the cereal out there. So, uh, really dope. I mean, the artwork on this is absolutely fucking dope. It's got a little side crossword puzzle right there. You know, pause the video if y'all trying to solve that. I ain't got time for that. Um, it's got the nutritious facts right here. You know, that we need that nutrient. This shit got... We got skim milk as the option. We don't fuck with skim milk. It's got that vitamin B, that thiamine, that vitamin C, that zinc. I mean, and, the, and you know, if I'd be fucking with you right now, if I said this didn't look like just a normal cereal box, like fax chart C. So, yeah, I mean, uh, on the back, you know, I don't know nothing about soccer. I'm going to stop myself when I can. But I'd like to assume one of these is messy, but I could be wrong. 
I, I'm pretty confident one of them messy though. It's the one in the blue, I'm pretty sure. I think the other one named Leo, but I can't confirm. All I can say is, I mean, I love the the FIFA cards. You know, and I mean, you just got to talk about that detail again. Like, look at that. I mean, this is a fucking box. This is a heavy box. I could pull some Kellogg's in this right here, right now. You know, so I mean, that's amazing. Great detail right there. Amazing detail. Um, Yeah, I mean, between the cards, between... <laughs> Between Mac, who's still, I think, my, my favorite thing of this bunch. I know it's crazy to think the first, we started off strong and it just kept getting stronger. But, I mean, all these pieces right here. We got the Hillbilly. We got Mac. We got the Pokey card. I mean, all of this. I, again, I cannot stress how grateful I am to you, Renberry. Cannot. 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 Um, amazing gifts. I really do appreciate them. Uh, me and my fiance, we actually planning on moving to an apartment. So, probably throughout the video, you, you, the background not gonna get better, but eventually we're gonna be having all this in a like in a display case. It's gonna look beautiful. Um, you know, I mean, this is amazing though. I, I really do gotta say, you you fooled me. You hit me with that this sold out, and I didn't realize that. You know, I guess I was talking. I guess I was talking nonsense to the guy that created the the, the stuff. So, um, you know, huge shout out again to Renberry. Um, if you want to see some more, I'm gonna link some articles that I wrote about him already. Um, besides that, if you want to catch some more videos on some of the dope shit that I be unboxing, whether it be stuff people send me, whether it be shit that I just straight buy, bam, video right there for it. I got the reactions playlist right here. As always, hit right here on the Pokemon cards where the subscription button is. Do not forget, ladies and gentlemen, always support these local underground talents like this. Because um, you never know, man. I mean, he's been growing, he's been growing, and the quality is right here. You can see it. So I'm going to link him on the description. I'm going to link his store at the description. But as always, I am the Musical Hippie. Fo with your boy!